You know what just happened? I just walked out that door and I saw a group of detectives and I was about to start badmouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself because my pops told me that a man talks about another man behind his back is a coward. Wow, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell it to your face. No, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. Even if we were in different food chains, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out to the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you place it in a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20 foot wave, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends, you lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of 10. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna and we now have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves, we communicated and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we will corner your pride, your offspring, your children. How are you going to do that? We will construct a series of breathing apparatus of kelp. We will be able to trap certain levels of oxygen. It's not going to take days at a time. An hour? Hour 45? No problem. That will give us enough time to figure out where you live, go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and stalk you. You just lost your own game. You were outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope.